All right, come on, little buddy. We're going to the hardware store. Let's go. Daddy, Daddy I forgot my sock. Okay, so we're going to the lumber yard this morning. So you're going to have to stay close to Daddy and watch out for there's going to be trucks, and forklifts, and all kinds of things. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Atta boy. How you doing back there, little fella? Hey, look, Connor, McDonald's. McDonald's! You want to get a happy meal after? Oh, uh, yeah. Give me five. What? Yeah. All right. I'm doing a project in my kitchen. So, do you need a DF or a furniture? Ooh, jeez. What's the difference? Well, uh, DF is... Uh, Here, you don't show me because I, I've got a catalog I looked at. Connor, Connor, come on, let's go. The statistics show that there are hundreds of accidents involving lift trucks in North America every year. When it comes to lift trucks, accidents are almost always fatal. As an operator, it's your responsibility to always be aware of your surroundings. Don't ever take for granted that others, workers, pedestrians, or customers know and understand the hazards of forklift operation. Every year in North America, there are hundreds of accidents involving lift trucks and near misses count for hundreds more. With lift trucks, a near miss is really a near fatality because if you get in an accident with a lift truck, it is almost always fatal. Fortunately, these type of accidents can be avoided. As an operator, it's your responsibility to remain aware of your surroundings. Don't ever take for granted that others, workers, pedestrians, or customers know and understand the hazards of forklift operation. Always proceed with caution when approaching corners, exits, and entrances to buildings, and any area where customers may be. Doing this may be the difference between life and death.